Hey YouTube family, this is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a couple letters to open and some packages, but the highlight of today is going to be this package right here, which I believe is the first Silver Libertad. So stand by. Let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with this, and this is from Sherry Ward. So let's see what Sherry Ward has passed. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, let's move this stuff over so we can have some room to show off everything. So, thank you. Oh, what, a, what an awesome sticker. Thank you, Sherry. Hello, Aloha Stacker. Thank you so much for the sticker trade. I appreciate you sending me yours. Can't wait to receive it. I appreciate your support and love your videos. Best wishes, Sherry Ward. And she sent this, which I haven't opened yet, so we'll find out together what's what I was sent. But look at this sticker. How awesome is that? Raccoons. Raccoons are awesome. Beautiful animals. A little wild, but cool nonetheless. I want to apologize for any of the background noise you can all hear. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have to run the dishwasher today. <laughs> oh, cool. Look. One, is that a gram of silver? Oh, that's cool. I don't own anything like that. That is so neat. Oh, and uh, what I get here? A 1956D, sweet. Copper penny, wheat scent, best wishes. Hey, thank you very much, Sherry. That's, those are some awesome gifts. This is neat. Look at that. Who makes that? Is that, uh... let's see if we can get that zoomed in a little bit. Yeah, that is sweet. Very cool. Hey, thank you very much, Sherry. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and move on to letter number two. And this is from King and Queen Stacking. And they sent me a couple stickers. There's no letter in this one, but these are some sweet stickers. Look at that. Oh man, that is just sick. Look at that. Oh man, these stickers are sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much, King and Queen Stacking. There'll be links to both their channels in the description of the video. Please check them out. Uh, let's see what we got next. Okay, cool. Next, we will go ahead and move on to this package. And this was an eBay purchase, and it is a Libertad. Mexican Silver Libertad, first minted in 1982. The Libertad became the world's first modern bullion coin, setting the standard for those that followed. That's really cool. And this is a 1993. And unfortunately, I, already, I thought this was a 1995 when I ordered it. I didn't read the, I didn't read it correctly. So now I just have another 1993. Totally fine. I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I love these coins. I'll stock them forever. But cool, it gives all the information. And this was originally sold by the Littleton Coin Company. I didn't get it from Littleton. I bought it off eBay from an eBay seller. Uh, but very cool. You got a winged liberty right here on the reverse. And you got the eagle snake and Mexican national seal on the back. Or on the, I guess that's the uh, obverse. So very cool. And on the read it, it's got a read it edge. So this was after they switched it over. So cool. Another one, another Libertad for the stack. Not the first one. First one is hiding out in here. Next, this is from uh, Stacking Silver, Stacking Silverman's auction. So let's go ahead and bust this open and see what we got. We got a letter. Let's go ahead and check out the letter first and see what. Oh, cool. Check that out. Oh, that's a cool. That's another cool sticker. Uh, Aloha Stacker, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Enjoy all your new coins. Hope to see you in the next auction. Congrats on your GA win. I want to go GA too, I guess. <laughs> Peace, Stacking Silverman. P.S. Your first auction win is here too. Sweet. Oh, that's right, because uh, we had an issue with payment. And because of that, we had it ended up getting shipment delayed, which is totally fine. No big deal, as long as we get it all. So let's see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling stuff out here, and then we'll go over it in a second. It looks like I got a lot of coins. So very cool. Let's see. Let's start with, let's start with these. So he got me a couple. I got a couple Standing Liberty Quarters. Uh, this one from 1929. Let's see, is there, a, is there a mint mark on this one? I don't know. I don't see one. So that's actually, this is actually pretty good shape. Very cool. And then I also got another one. And this one is also from 1929. Look at that little M in the corner. That's cool. Uh, I don't see any mint marks. So cool. Two tiny 29 standing liberties. Can't complain. Beautiful coin. Uh, let's see. I also got a copper round. Ah, it's awesome. Look at it. See? Standing liberty copper round. Let's, let's pull this out and show it off properly. Boom. Hey, Pirate Stacker, I know you dig this copper. You got this one? 
I bet you do. Sweet. Love some copper. Oh, looks like I got some coins here too. Let's check it out. Oh, cool. I got one penny from 1939, and that is from the island of Great Britannia, Britain. So cool. Very nice. Uh, we also got a half penny from 1955. Look at that ship on there. Cool. Looks like a pirate ship. And that's uh, Elizabeth II. So cool. Half penny. And a couple pieces of silver. Looks like we got a Roosevelt dime from 1949 with a D mint mark. And a 1942 Mercury Dime or Winged Liberty. Funny, that's got the same name, and it's a S mint mark. You see the S right down there in the corner. Sweet. So a couple dimes. Uh, let's see what we got next. Oh, looks like we got another copper round. This one's got the dragon. So eat your heart out, silver dragons. I got the dragon copper. Look at that reflection in that. That's crazy. Okay. And that's a beautiful copper round to add to the stack. And then we got this. Zombux. This is my second Zombux, 2019. This is the Saint 50. Oh, that's cool. So That is cool. Actually, you know what? Hold up a second. I got something here to show off with that. Or maybe I don't. Never mind. I thought I had the other Zombux handy, but I didn't. So that's cool. This is my second Zombux. That's cool. These things are really neat. I'm going to have to eventually get all of these. So very cool. And then I also got my first. Let's pull this out because this is a beauty. Austrian Philharmonic. This is my very first one. I do not own any of these in my stack. I've always wanted to get some, but this is my first one. And it's a Euro, it's worth a Euro 50. And this is a 2020. Looks, no, the, no, those aren't milk spots. Those just look like stains. I'll clean that up later. Looks like just fingerprints and stuff like that. I'll just clean that up, but that's cool. So Philharmonic, very cool. Uh, moving on, this one. This is from the Stacking Stormtrooper. Uh, I made a purchase from him, and unfortunately, he sent me the wrong coin, and I had to... Let's see what he said here. Whoops! <laughs> this was mine. I will miss it. Treat her well, Stormy. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, I ordered a coin from him, and uh, from his website, and uh, unfortunately, sent the wrong one. But, no worries. He remedied the situation, took a little bit of money off it, and I got the Queen Anne's Revenge. And that's awesome, because that goes with my Royal Fortune. So now I have both of, the, both of the series. And the funny thing is I bought both of these from the Stacking Stormtrooper. I got this one at an auction and I got this one off his website. So very cool. I can't wait for the next one. Now I've got the whole collection so far and I'm super excited about that. This is such an awesome coin. Uh, they're both are, oh, so pretty. So cool, let's put those down for, so you can continue to watch. Uh, oh, let's open this real quick. So I got a sticker, uh, sticker mule. I got my first swag for the new logo. So let's check it out. And as usual, Sticker Mule sends me the sticker, sends me the donkey. I got so many of these now, I'm going to start sending these out in uh, swag kits and a, uh, another coaster. But here is the gem. This is the new swag for the logo. And this is, these are pins. Now, don't worry about this. This is because there's a, a liner on there to keep it clean. But look, check out these pins. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? So... Aloha Stacker, new logo. I got I got 50 of these pins, so these will be going out with swag kits. And there's some um, instructions. You just have to remove the protective film, so that and uh, that way you can utilize them properly. But cool. So we got some new swag, and uh, there is other stuff coming. I still don't have stickers on order yet. They're they're coming soon too. I've got some stuff, other other cool things coming, but so far so good. Let's go ahead and put that down. Next, we got a package from Atmex, and this one I was I've been waiting. I've actually had this for a while. I've been waiting to open it. Get this. Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's bust this stuff out so everybody can see how awesome. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let's see what do we want to show first. Uh, let's show this first because it's pretty cool. I got all you guys have been showing this off, and it's so freaking cool. So I had to get one. I got the John Wick. I got the John Wick round. Oh man, that is a beauty. Look at that. Woo! John Wick. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll put that back in the sleeve until I can get a capsule for it. Uh, next, I picked up two of the Drachmas, the Colossus. They only made 7,777 of these, and I bought two of them. So 
Very cool. This is an actual really cool looking coin too. I really like it. So it, I'm pretty excited. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not going to pull them out of the packages yet uh, because most of you've already seen these. So I just wanted to show them off. This one, on the other hand, this one we may pull out of the package because this is pretty neat looking. I got my first Geiger bar, but this is the Atmex version of the Geiger bar. Check that out. Let's open this up. I don't want to. This one's not staying inside of a bag for now. I don't have a capsule or anything for it, but I'll, think, I'll figure something out. But I just want to, this one's going to go on display. Look at that. Atmex, investments you hold. One ounce. And look at, they even got some blue in there. Look, it's got a ser serialized, it's readed. These are made by Geiger. And this is my first bar made by Geiger, although it doesn't have the Geiger logos or anything on it. It is made by them, so that counts. <laughs> all right. So that does it for all of that. So what we're going to do now is move on to this, the highlight, the first Libertad. And here it is in this bag. Who's ready to see it? There's the obverse. Now this coin was made in 1921, and it was only on only 1,277,500 were minted. It's it's 0.7717 ounce of silver. This is it's not technically a Libertad, Libertad, but it is the first style. And it's got a reeded edge. Let's go ahead and show it off. Look at that. 24 grams plata pura dos pesos. This is a 1921 Dos Pesos. This was a centennial, only made in the year 1921. It is the first silver coin that that the Libertad became. They were the, when the Libertads came out in 1982. This was the design they went with, and it's got the Wing Liberty. Let's see what else it says about it. So it's got the National Coat of Arms featuring the eagle perched on a cactus, clenching a snake in its beak. Mint mark. It's got the Mexico City mint mark. And the reverse, it's got the Wing Liberty holding a wreath of laurel with the volcano with two volcanoes in the background. Although those are hard to see because they're pretty worn out, but they're here and here. So this is it. This is the original. So if you compare it, for example, to the 1993 Libertad, you can see. Isn't that pretty cool? So with this, I wanted to show off something else. So I want to show off my oldest Mexico City mint coin. And that, and I know I've showed this off before, but this thing is awesome. This is a 1786 Ocho Real with Carlos III on the, on the front and the Spanish coat of arms on the back. And this, see, there's the Mexico City mint mark. Let's see where it's at on here. Probably on the reverse. There, uh, I don't swear. Where are you, mint mark? Oh, look, it says 1921 in Roman numerals. Uh, I don't see, does anybody see the Mexican mint mark? Mexico City mint mark, it's supposed to be here. Oh, there it is, right there, sorry. Right there, okay, so cool. So this is my oldest one, and this one, and this one is, you know, I love this coin. <laughs> so I showed off that, but I wanted to show one more thing, and this is for fish, because the same year that this came out, this came out. And this is the 50 pesos. This is the one of the largest gold bullion coins or not gold, yeah, that you can get. And this, and it's just like, it's just like, and it says Independencia Libertad on on the rim, just like, on the edge, I mean, just like uh, the, the old Libertads. This is 37 and a half grams, 1.2056 ounces of gold, I believe. And uh, there you go. This came out in 1921, this original design, although these, this was, uh, this is a restrike because of 1947, but uh, look at the, look at the back. And uh, I know, and Fish, this is the only one Fish is missing for his uh, Mexican Peso series. So Senor Paucho is begging for one of these, but he ain't getting it. He ain't getting this one. So hopefully uh, Fish will get around to getting himself one of these. I'm glad I could finally show it off and uh, at the same time as I show off this. And that is cool. So this is, uh, this is awesome. This gets to add to and then to, to the whole Libertad collection. Look at that. There's the, the, you guys know I love these things. And now I have so many more. So that is it. That is everything today. I uh, appreciate you. I uh, appreciate all the support. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, aloha and mahalo.